So are you moving to the Atlanta area and you want to live on the Beltline? I'm not talking a half a mile or a mile away. I'm talking like right on the Beltline or maybe like a block away. Well, if that is you, you're going to want to watch this video. I'm going to pop on my bike right here. As you can see, I'm at my house right now. I live about a half a mile away. I'm going to pedal down the East Side Trail today and just show you different places that you can live that are on the Beltline. I'm talking a lot of condos, some townhome options. I'll even point out some apartment complexes along the way too. They aren't cheap though, so I will get more into to that as we pedal along. So let me hop on my bike, head down to the Beltline Trail, and we'll get started from there. While I pedal along, let me just introduce myself. My name is Molly, welcome to my channel. If you are new or returning to my channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in the Atlanta area, well, you've come to the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow along and give this video a like. It does help me out, you guys. But hey, if you're making a move to Atlanta, whether it's tomorrow or next year, and you want help with that home search, shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email, or put any questions or comments you have down below in the comments box. I can't wait to help a lot of you out. Um, we just need to have a quick conversation. If you tell me some things that you like, you don't like, I can usually help you pinpoint an area that's gonna fit best for you that meets your lifestyle and your budget. So don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, I'm kind of at the start of the East Side Trail belt line. Actually, the trail goes through Piedmont Park, but that part is not done yet. You can kind of see the unfinished portion, but 10th and Monroe is kind of where all of the action starts. You got Piedmont Park right here, and then you start going down this way to all of the fun stuff on the East Side belt line trail. If you don't have a bike, there's definitely a lot of scooters here. If you're a runner, I know there's a big running group that meets up basically right here at Park Tavern on Saturday mornings around 8 a.m. I'm not for sure what the running group is called. That's a, too late of a start for me, so I'm always out there earlier <laughs> running. But let me get started on this bell line. I'm going to show you your first condo option. Okay, so my first condo option for you is this white building right here. This is called Virginia Hill. It's located at Virginia Avenue in Monroe. I'll be honest, this is not the most beautiful building. Um, some of the units are a little dated. They can be a little funky looking. And some of these units have like a split level, like there's a bedroom on one level and the kitchen and living room area is on a different level. Um, but the one great thing is it's right by the Midtown Promenade, which I'm gonna show you in one second. And you get great views of the Midtown skyline and Piedmont Park. So that is also really great. You know, when there's festivals going on in Piedmont Park, you've got like front row seats, you can just walk on over. Um, but this Midtown Promenade has recently gotten a facelift Lift. This is where the Trader Joe's is for all of the in-town area. So side note, do not go here on a weekend. The parking lot is full. Unless you live on the Beltline, you can just walk or bike there. Um, that's just a little side note for you. But that's why you follow me. I will give you these little tips. So make sure you're reaching out. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. And they just finished this ramp onto the Beltline, um, which is way better than what there used to be. It used to just be this makeshift um, hill and now they've got a proper ramp right here behind me um, ramp and some stairs but let me go show you this midtown promenade they've got some new restaurants in here of course the trader joe's so let's go check it out
So I heard that Elise Oyster Bar is actually really good and they also have a lot of seafood. Uh, haven't been there yet, but I know some of my friends have hit it up and they said it's a really good spot. I also heard that Neil Salon is really good as well. Okay, I'm just about 0.2 miles to my next destination. Okay, my next stop. Now I stopped on these on my previous Beltline tour. If you've watched my previous Beltline tour, some of this is gonna be a little bit repetitive, but if you haven't, definitely some progress has been made. This is the Roycraft. It is 42 residences and depending on the unit size is going to depend on the price. One bedrooms are around 462,000. Two bedrooms are in the high 700s. And then if you get a penthouse unit, that's about $1.17 million. Now these all have some great balconies and the penthouse units have uh, oversized rooftop terraces, which are really nice. And you're gonna get a great view of the Midtown area. If you look behind me right now, all you see is trees, but if you're higher up, you're gonna see over those trees and have a great view of the Midtown skyline. And right behind me here, this is gonna be like a Whole Foods, a Home Depot. There's not a great way to get over there. You have to really go around. I think I read that they were gonna be making a new access point, but we'll see about that. A couple of other things about these units. The HOA is around $700 a month. So it's a little bit on the higher side. You do get a dog spa so if you've got a dog there's a dog wash station there is a two-story clubhouse um, but this is like in the Virginia Highlands area um, up the street around the corner are some townhomes that have been built in like 2018 2020 um, those were 3,200 square feet you can get those for 1.4 million so that's another option and just on the other side is another loft condo unit building so I'm gonna go show you that next so I'm just off of the belt line this is Greenwood Avenue this is kind of like the main connector for people living in Virginia Highland to access the belt line and right behind me this is just on the other side of the Roy Craft condos this is the Greenwood lofts now there was only one um, comp in here that recently sold it was a one bedroom sold for 301,000 the HOA was really low at $238 a month now I will say these aren't exactly fancy these were built in 2004 this was before the Beltline even existed um, so this was you know I'm sure these were super cheap before the Beltline came in and they're still relatively affordable compared to other parts of town especially for being right here on the Beltline but like I said there's nothing super special about them on the interior they have concrete flooring um, they do have covered parking and yeah it's a lot of them are going to be kind of 2004 builder grade materials but on the other side of me this is the factory lofts now these i'd say on average are selling around 700,000 for a two bedroom two and a half bath i've toured one of these recently um, that was sold by a good friend of mine if you're watching hello you know who you are um, but i got to tour his listing it was a really cool loft i will say these are going to have like exposed beams there are steel stairwells and concrete floors and the best part about these units you see this right here this is like your own private patio it's a really great patio space and obviously you can overlook the belt line now i will say um, some of these can be kind of dark inside uh, but i'm sure you could brighten them up with some special touches and you know this is definitely a very lofty raw looking feel so if you're really into the loft look these would be a great option i mean prime location here on the belt line Pond City Market area right behind me you can see the, the main entrance off of the Beltline this is a very busy area for people coming off of the Beltline and over into Pond City Mar Market or vice versa Pond City Market is just a big commercial district with a food hall there's a, some boutique shopping that you can do fun place to go hang out on the weekend or for lunch you can it's about lunchtime right now so there's I saw a lot of people heading in that way um, you see this big building right here there's actually a Kroger there so you could do all your grocery shopping and literally walk there if you wanted to um, the upper floors are office buildings and then you've got this building right here which is the telephone factory lofts I'm sorry the Ford factory lofts and these are lofts that you can rent I did not look up the rental prices for these but um, you could go online and find that out pretty easily there's even some restaurants here at the bottom you've got a Vietnamese place an Israeli restaurant I've eaten at that one um, so definitely some restaurant options outside of Pond City Market but as you can see 
very popular place to hang out. Let me head this way because there are some apartment buildings and um, other places to rent out. I will show you those next. By the way, if you want to see more about the Pond City Market and what's inside, just go watch my old Fourth Ward vlog tour. I go inside and show you around. There's always new restaurants opening up, different stores, so it's always fun to pop in there and see what's going on. If you watched my previous vlog tour on the Beltline, this building right behind me didn't exist. They are adding on to Pond City Market. In fact, on the western side of the building, they're adding a whole new section. It used to be a parking lot, and now it's going to be another structure. So just kind of crazy how things have changed. Now, I'm coming up on a lot of apartment complexes. So if you're looking for apartments, I will say I don't do a lot of apartments and helping people with uh, rentals. So I am not familiar with these apartment buildings per se and like knowing all the ins and outs, but I will point them out to you. I did look up what the rental rates are going for right now. Um, so I'm gonna turn right around behind me. So we're looking, this is kind of Old Fourth Ward Park right back here. And then you're gonna see two different buildings. This one is 755 North. The rental rates for that is $1,700 to $3,800, depending on how many rooms you get. And then this building right here is called North in Line. The rates here run anywhere from 2200 to 4300 um, So definitely pricey, but you know, people ask me, oh, is it safe to live around there? I would say anywhere around the Beltline or by the Old Fourth Ward Park, you're gonna be really in a great spot. If I was looking for something to rent, I would definitely consider these, of course, if your budget allows. Um, and there's also the Amley Ponce Park is right over there. I'm not for sure what the rental rate is over there, but there's a lot of apartments surrounding the Old Fourth Ward Park, so you could certainly look into that spot, and it's great walking distance of Pump Sunny Market, the Beltline, you're not too far from Piedmont Park, so this is definitely a great area to consider. Okay, I decided to hop off of the Beltline Trail real quick, and I'm just in the Old Fourth Ward Park. Behind me, these two buildings, these didn't exist a couple of years ago. I mean, there used to be, I think it was like a parking lot for the Georgia Power. I'm starting to sound like, remember back in my day, there used to not be any of this? I'm starting to sound like that old person, like that wasn't there when I was here five years ago. <laughs> anyway, um, this is um, that North in Line apartment complex that I was telling you about. This is just the other side of it. There is a Buena Vida Tapas place there on that corner. I still have yet to try it, need to check it out. Um, but if you go this way, you're going to hit um, kind of like a little water feature for the park. And then up the hill, there's gonna be a playground and a splash pad. So if you've got kiddos, that is also a great place to take your kids, especially in the boiling hot summer months. But, and then you'll see right behind me, there is Pont City Market, you can walk to it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you a quick uh, peek around here. Again, like I said, lots of apartment complex around here. And I'm gonna get right back on the Beltline now. If you're wondering what this building is, it's a brand new building, MailChimp, their headquarters is here. And then on my left, this is New Realm. It's a brewery, they have some great food, and of course, beer, so that's a fun place to hang out. They've got a rooftop that you can hang out and look at the, the skyline. And you'll notice there's quite a few people here out walking, jogging, riding their bikes. And it's only a Wednesday, it's not even a weekend. And on weekends when it's nice out, boy, this place will be crowded. And it's actually pretty difficult to ride a bike on. And I'm in this stage right now, my kids are learning how to ride bikes, but I will not take them here on a weekend trying to learn how to balance and dodge people at the same time. It just doesn't work. So, oh, here we are at my next stop. Okay, now I'm outside telephone factory lofts. These are for rent. So if you're looking for a rental, this might be one. I don't, again, not, I don't know much about this building. I had a client that lived in here for a year while they were in between selling their home and buying, finding the new one that they wanted to purchase. But these can get quite pricey. So a studio starts at $2,000 for about up to a thousand square feet. A one bedroom starts at 3,500 and you get about 1,630 square feet. So you get a pretty good size unit 
two bedrooms are anywhere from $36 to $3,900, um, but you do get about 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. It does have a little dog park, and this is right off of Ralph McGill, and there is a little new stair access down to Ralph McGill. Um, so that's also where I'm going to head next because I'm gonna show you some lofts that you can purchase, and there's a bunch of them. So if you like lofts, listen up to this next part. Okay, like I mentioned, if you like loft style living, you can find a lot of that here off of the Beltline, especially in the Old Fourth Ward area. I'm in the Freedom Lofts complex. This is a huge complex of 245 units. Now it's kind of interesting because you can see over here, you've got more of like an apartment building feel. There's actually two buildings. And then on this side, you have um, individual units that live more like a townhome. I've been inside one of these, it's been a long, long time, um, but you get, uh, it, it lives like a townhome. So you've got like a living room and um, dining room, kitchen area on the first floor, and then you go up some stairs, then you hit your bedroom. Now that bedroom is gonna be open air to overlooking the living room. So if you don't like that open air feeling, I know some people don't like that, then this probably wouldn't be an option for you, um, but you're gonna have like the exposed ductwork, concrete flooring. Now I've seen some that look really good and some that are like, well, they could use some updating, but it really just kind of depends. Now these will run you around 450,000 for a one bedroom, one bath. Um, but if you want something a little bit different, and I would say some of these units can be a little bit more traditional in style, a one bedroom for these um, regular condo style buildings, that's gonna be about on average 275,000. A two bedroom can range anywhere from 380 to 410,000. HOA fees anywhere from 282 to $450, $400 a month. And you have a parking garage in here. Now, this building over here is where the pool is located. So if you're living in this building that's right off of Ralph McGill, you're gonna have to get out of this building, hop over and get hit the pool over that way. The gym is in that other building as well. That's where the um, covered parking garage is at. But you can walk right around here and there is a dedicated entrance right off of this, this complex onto the Beltline, which is pretty nice. So I just went on the opposite side of the Beltline, opposite of where I was just at at Freedom Lofts. I'm over at Block Lofts. Now this is 69 units and I actually saw a sign that said now leasing. So they must lease out part of this building. I never knew that until just now. Um, but for condo units that you can buy, the HOA runs anywhere from $300 to $470 a month. A one bedroom is gonna cost you around $340,000. A two bedroom, two bath is just under $500,000. Uh, it does have a pool, a gym, a dog park. It has covered parking and you can see that actually some of these units you get like an actual garage, which that's kind of unique for a condo building. Um, I really like these units. Um, the ones that are really well done, um, some will have like exposed brick wall, black granite countertops, um, and, it, and it, they're really bright inside, has big windows. So I really like these as kind of a, like, if you want something that looks a little bit newer, fresh, the block lofts might be an option for you. Okay, I'm gonna get back on the belt line and we'll keep going. Okay, so now I've entered Inman Park and things get a little bit more expensive over here. You know, it, this is just zoned to a very desirable school district, so people will pay a little bit for that. And also Inman Park's just a cool neighborhood. Check out my vlog tour if you wanna see the full tour of that area. Lots of great restaurants right off the Beltline. Um, but I am right here, literally off the Beltline. I'm at the Highland Park townhomes. These were built by John Whelan back in 2013. There's 58 units, I believe. Let me check my notes here. Yes, 58 units in the price ranges anywhere from 935,000 up to 1.45 million. Um, these are three bedroom or four bedroom townhomes. Really nice finishes. Some have elevators, some do not. Um, these don't have a rooftop decks that a lot of people crave these days, but there are definitely a lot of um, balconies. You can see one here and there's one up above here. I'm sure that's off of like the, the primary bedroom or something like that but a great location. You can see the belt line. You could just sit here and people watch all day. The HOA is really low at $295 a month. Um, but there you go. That is some town. Those are some townhomes for you. 
And across the way, you see this big building right behind me. This is an apartment building. This is called the North Highland Steel Apartments. The price range is here anywhere from $1,750 to $4,000 a month, just depending on how many bedrooms. Um, again, I don't know a lot about that building, but if that's it within your budget and you really like to live in Inman Park, this is one you could check out. Just across the Beltline from the Highland Park townhomes are the Grinnell lofts. Now a 2-2 here is going to be anywhere from 1,300 to 1,700 square feet and the price range can vary depending on how updated it is. Now if it's a very basic unit that hasn't been updated, those have been selling for around 540,000 but if you got one that was like uber updated i saw one that recently got sold and that one was for 735 um, but, but especially if you have one right here with this deck you can there's a lot of great people watching that you can do and then right around the corner if you just hop on here you'll get on north highland avenue and that's where all of the restaurants and shops are of inman park so a really great spot i'm going to keep heading that way there's a couple more townhomes here in the inman park area that i can show you So right behind me is the Ladybird. This is a great place to grab something to eat, get a drink and just hang on the patio. It's a very popular spot, especially when it's nice out. Now I'm heading over to, I'm gonna hit Crog Street Market, another little food hall here in Inman Park. Very popular, they're actually adding onto that as well. There's some new shops um, from the last time that I rode on or did my vlog on here. So, and we're also coming up to some of the more expensive townhomes that have been built recently so i will go show one of those to you next okay so now i am right behind the residences at studio plex these were built in 2019 these are really really nice they are four bedroom four and a half bath they have an elevator really really nice finishes now they are going to cost you a little bit the last one that sold was sold for 1.36 million roughly um, but great access to a lot of restaurants along here i mean there's an ice cream shop there's a guac and margs i mean how can you go wrong with ice cream and margaritas at <laughs> your your footsteps and then just across the belt line now this has opened up it's called brew dog it is huge inside and it serves up like 28 different craft uh, beers and tons of food. So um, that's one of the probably newest features here um, along just around the corner from the Crog Street Market. So there you go. There's some really fancy schmancy townhomes for you. Moving right along from those fancy townhomes on the other side of the Beltline is an apartment complex called Isla. I think that's how you pronounce it. They range from $2,000 to $3,200 per month. Uh, again, I haven't been in these buildings, so I can't really vouch for them. And here on my right hand side, they're building more ap apartments. So you can just see wherever there is space on the belt line, they are putting in apartments or townhomes. And you probably have noticed that it's pretty expensive around here. Just remember, this is kind of like Atlanta's version of ocean or beachfront property. It gets really, really pricey. Okay, coming up here on my right, this is just above the Shake Shack is another apartment complex. This is called Edge on the Beltline, and these start in, at 1,700, but they go up to like 4,200. Again, depends on how many rooms you want, but there you go. We are now in Reynolds Town. Right back the other way is Cabbage Town. That would be another option. I'm gonna keep following the belt line this way. You're gonna see a lot of cool murals on this wall. On the other side of this wall are, well, there's train tracks 
and there is the Marta line. Um, so you will hear a little bit of city life noise, if you will. Um, but I am coming up on my right here. This is a Milltown Lofts. Uh, these range anywhere from 330 to 450,000. The HOA uh, is anywhere from 300 to 400 dollars a month. It's a little bit of an uphill. I'm breathing a little bit more, but um, these are some great options for a one bedroom or a two bedroom. Some will be maybe a little bit more cute than others. And some of them have a spiral staircase up to the bedroom. If you don't want to deal with the spiral staircase, then you just have to be a little bit more picky on which unit you would choose here. But I'm going to keep going, heading into the heart of Reynolds Town. Reynolds Town has just changed so much, you know, it used to be an area you didn't want to even drive through, but now it has just transformed. Uh, but it has definitely changed a lot of uh, new development, new modern homes going in. Um, and, you know, I think it's one of those things like if you're getting priced out of Inman Park, Old Fourth Ward, maybe check Reynolds Town, Cabbage Town. These areas are slightly less expensive and you can literally walk under the Crock Street Market Bridge or Crock Street Tunnel and then you're over in Inman Park with all the restaurants and that kind of thing. So I think it's a great option. Next, we're coming up to a new townhome community. It's developed by Empire Communities. It's called Stein Steel. Right here is like a, it's called Breaker Breaker. It's gonna be like a place to grab small bites, some beer, there's a rooftop terrace. That'll be pretty cool when it's all said and done. Uh, I forgot how many units this is going to be. I mentioned this in my new, new townhomes in Atlanta community tour. Uh, you could go check that out i have all the details there but uh starting range for a townhome is in the 600k range they are going to be making um, some more like condo units and they're going to be in starting in the low 300k range um, so it's going to be a pretty big community and again you can pop on here and then head down to machacho for some coffee or a drink or a taco <laughs> or you could head the other way and hit up in then park crog street market that kind of thing I do want to remind you that, you know, there are a lot of single family homes just, you know, either sort of on the belt line or just a block away. I just don't have time to point out every single home. Obviously, complexes like condos and townhomes are much easier to point out. And that's primarily what you'll find that's literally on the belt line. Um, but, you know, just know that you can live very close to the belt line in, in walking distance if you want a single family home. But that's why you reach out to me, shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. That's what I'm here for, guys. I'm here to help you find a place to call home here in the Atlanta area. I got your back. Okay, I'm gonna keep on heading on the belt line to my favorite little coffee joint, patio place, Muchacho. We'll keep going from there. Okay, so I went probably a block off of the Beltline here on Memorial Drive, and I wanted to show you this townhome complex. This is called the Heritage on Memorial. It was built by John Whelan back in 2018. Um, really beautiful units. They're gonna start in the 975K range. I saw one sale that went up to just over a million dollars. You're gonna get four bedroom, four and a half bath, 3,400 square feet. So if you want something newer, bigger, these are a great option. They are gated. There's a, like another townhome complex just behind that one. And you can see right here, an apartment complex. And I will say Memorial Drive is full, full, full of new apartment complexes. And I think their price ranges for these apartment complexes will be a little bit on, a little bit cheaper than what we were seeing further up on the Beltline. I will warn you about Memorial Drive. This area gets very trafficy. A lot of stoplights, it backs up. Um, it's just uh, an area that's very condensed now with a lot of new living apartments, uh, complexes, and that kind of thing. So have a little patience traveling on this road. But you also have Madison Yards, which is like right behind me. There is an AMC theater. There's some places to eat. There's a new Publix there. So a lot of great things right here off of Memorial. But you have, a, have to have a little bit of patience because 
the traffic can be a little tight. you guys well that's going to conclude my east side trail tour today of showing you where you could live that's like literally on the belt line i hope this was helpful for you i was hoping i could get over to glenwood park but i'm running out of camera battery so i gotta cut it a little bit short but i hope this was helpful helpful for you give me a like if you found this helpful as always if you're thinking about moving tomorrow or next year and you need help with that home purchase and that search shoot me a text give me a call send me an email i'm here to help you out and boy was it a beautiful day to be out riding my bike but yeah don't tell my dad that i was not wearing a bike helmet okay until next time you guys i'll see you around the neighborhood